Don't forget, guys, hats have dropped right now before this episode starts. If you want one, they're not going to last long. Drop we are off. on. Yeah. G'day, everyone. Welcome to the episode. We've got your beauty back. I came home for Easter. So I hope everyone's having a good Easter. And tomorrow, we're going out to Montague Island. Hopefully, get some kingies, maybe snapper reefies. Can't dive. The water is a bit too dirty still from all that rain, the floods. So we'll take... This little beast out, use the rods, hopefully get some sick fish on the rods. So I'm taking Cameron and Louie tomorrow. You guys have met them already, but we'll see them tomorrow in the morning. Your beauty's got a few cobwebs, haven't used her for a while. So yeah, give her a bit of love. And I'm gonna show you guys how I rig my stuff up, because I need to rig the rods up and we'll get that going. First thing I'm gonna do is the braid to leader knot. A lot of people struggle with the braid to leader knot, but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. I'm doing the Albright knot for this one. You can use a double uni, but Whichever works really. So make a little loop with your leader. This is 40 pound leader, 20 pound braid. I want to go around what I've made about 10 to 15 times. And then back five times. Just look it up on YouTube, Albright Knot, if you want to learn how to do it a bit better than what I'm showing. Back through the hole. Make sure you wet it, just so the braid doesn't cut the leader. Pull it nice and tight. So there you have it, all bright knot. So you want about, I guess, one to two meters of leader. Depends what you're doing. So if you're using a pad and Oscar rig, you want longer. I'm just using lures. So I gave it a fair distance, because when you're changing jigs, you know, you lose a bit of leader, but you're getting bitten off. Jigs, you've got a few options to tie from. You've got this one up here solid ring the split ring and the other side of the jig you want to tie them to the solid ring i'll be doing a uni knot you can use a blood knot but i've decided to start using uni knots because they're i don't know they seem to work a lot better make sure nothing can break that I'm ready to go catch snapper and kingies sweet as so I got all those rods sorted, some of them rigged up, just most of them just put leader on. So when I get there tomorrow, I can choose if I want to put a jig or whatever on. And just getting your beauty ready. She hasn't been used in a while, I know that. You guys saw her last episode, but this episode is actually a new one. That one was from a few months ago. She's still looking clean, but I'll give her a facelift soon, you know. Get her a new windscreen, new clears. I think I need to do that. Be nice to her, because she's nice to me. Beautiful morning, we've arrived at the boat ramp. Got Louie and Cameron with me in the X-Trail. It's actually as good as it gets, flat as, no wind, sunrise looks amazing. You boys keen? Whoa, that keen, man. <laughs> Good morning guys, we're out at the island, we're jigging, Cameron's with us, Louie's with us. I've missed you guys. <laughs> I've missed you too mate. Fishing for kingies, and it's an absolute circus out here today. We've got about 20 boats this side and about 50 boats the other side. But we're going to rock over to the other side and see what it's like over there. Hopefully we can get some kingies. Wish us luck. Yoo. Yeah boy. First fish of the day goes to the skipper. Third or second drop. First drop at this new spot. Yeah. Lou is right, we just moved because we saw some archers. We're straight on, first drop. Oh, it's Bonnie. Is it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Bonnie. Nice size as well. Yeah. <laughs> that's a solid bonito. A good bonito. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my first bonito ever on the jig. First fish of the day. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready. Drop it down. Drop it down. My side. My side. This key. Me on. The key is key. Yeah, boy. Oh, good job. I can see you moving. Oh, I just got 
fishing off uh, Bonnie. Killing. Louis is getting smashed. He just put a pilly on. <laughs> what do you got to say, mate? I don't know. <laughs> you missed the camera in your face? Yeah. <laughs> that was seriously five seconds in the water with a pilly and just absolutely smashed him. What do you reckon it is? Have a call. I reckon Bonnie. Maybe a little kid. Yeah, baby. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Louis. Get him up. Mate, right, you got an audience. There's a hundred boats watching you right now. Don't cook the net either, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's taking me for a ride. He is. Oh, duck this, mate. Oh, that's great. At least maritime won't annoy us when we've got a fish on. <laughs> oh! Hey! It's in the reef, it's not coming out. I reckon you got him. I have hope. Oh no. He's in there hard. Come on, Louie. Oh, you got me in the reef. <laughs> He's still on. Oh. <laughs> no, Cam, don't go now. Dude, that's solid ass. Oh, <laughs> what the f***? What the f***? <laughs> that is solid, dude. Holy shit. Holy Help, bro. Put it in. Put it in, bro. It's not gonna fit. No, it's no. Fit. Gaff, gaff, gaff. I've got the gaff. It's going, it's going. No. Gaff, gaff, gaff. Go head first. Yes! Yeah! Yes! 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 Oh! Yeah, Louis. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, he's good! Oh. oh, yeah! What the hell? Yeah, baby! Yeah. On the frozen yeah. pilly! Oh, oh. Sing. no way! Sing. Hell yeah, boys! Oh. Yes! Phew. How's your leader, man? Oh. Oh. I'm stoked for that. Badass. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, much is it? Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, I just, I didn't really That one's going on a lot. That's a good Cheers, fish. Cheers, mate. Good fish. This one's going back. No. <laughs> <laughs> just copped a $250. dollars fine for not having a life jag. I just didn't realise, but fair enough, you know. They're just doing their job, but yeah, awesome fish for Louie. On the frozen pilly, five seconds in. <laughs> Cameron's first fish Big of the one day. One. <laughs> yeah, baby. Big. <laughs> Muppet. You catch that while we catch Pelagics. Okay. Louis on. We're calling Snapper. Trevally? Nanny? Snapper. Snapper. Edible? Little panty. He's going back. Oh. <laughs> Good release. Cooking up some snags on your beauty. No fish. Couldn't even get any liveies. And there's still heaps of boats. We'll go over there in a sec to try and get some. I don't even know if I have a sausage. I got real sick last night. 3 a.m. woke up, spewed and all this crap, but nothing stops offshore adventures from happening. So we came out here. Haven't spewed yet, so it's pretty good. I don't know how it'll go if I eat a sausage, but yeah, we'll see. But yeah, beautiful day at the island. Fast up! Yeah. Yeah. Still a beautiful day out there. We decided to come in because I shouldn't have ate those sausages. I ate those sausages and then I just went downhill from there. I've got the biggest tummy ache. 
don't want to be a downer, but you know, we got a good fish. A couple of good fish actually, and one real good fish. So at the end of the day, we still had a sick day. I don't know where we're going to fill the fish. We'll fill it here or go home because I just need to like lie down or something. But yeah, it's an absolutely amazing day. This is one of the days you just can fish for all day. Like we would have stayed out there if we could have. But yeah, it's a beautiful day in Australia. Your beauty's nice and clean now. Except one thing happened, the windscreen's absolutely just, she's gone. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get a new windscreen and I want new clears. And I was saying that yesterday, like I just should do it and get over and done with. I wanna keep the, the awning, cause that's perfectly fine. But if I can get a new windscreen, proper windscreen, and then new clears at the front, that would be perfect. So we'll see what we can do. Yeah, nice and clean. Sorry about the abrupt ending, but you know, I just was feeling so bad. I just was like, I just got to get in. And I wish I could stay out there longer and chase those bust ups and stuff, but I just couldn't. So yeah, ended up with the one Bonito, lost the other one and a bit of Louis big kingy, which was the fish of the day. Probably the fish of the day out of everyone, I reckon. You saw a lot of kingies being caught, but none over the 85 what Louis got, which is an awesome fish. It was a real fat one. And yeah, it's gonna taste absolutely amazing. Just about to film another episode with Cameron and Louis. Hope everyone had a good Easter. I got my hot cross buns. I'm gonna head back up to Wollongong soon for the end of the long weekend. Congrats again, Louis. And you know, what happened with the maritime, it was just because I didn't have a life jacket for myself. And you know, it's fair enough. You know, law's a law. I just did not realize, you know, I don't usually take two people out. And there's a lot of things to remember at night time. But yeah, you gotta take, take the good with the bad. You know, if you do the wrong thing, you just, just got a cop on the chin, so that's what I'm going to do. I hope everyone enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next week. Don't forget, if you want a hat, I'll be online right now. So, yeah, go get your hands on one. Yo! They go so hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going to lose him. Settle down, mate.